Bonjour. Bonjour. We are at the Hotel du Louvre. It's a beautiful hotel in the center of Paris, just near Palais Royal. We are invited to try their brasserie. It's so excited. It's like a mini oasis, like we're in the bar yeah. area right now. The brasserie is called the Brasserie Bocuse because it follows the work of Paul Bocuse, who may maybe the most famous chef of France. all time. I met him when I was a child in Lyon because my dad is from Lyon and in the Lyon region, it's a gastronomical region. Yeah. And we are with Gabriel. Do any one of you recognize me yet? I'm in a few of his videos and we're super excited to be here and to tell you guys what we think about the brasserie. And we always love discovering new like hidden gems, kind of like this hotel. So very exciting. Look at the roof. It's so beautiful. She's vlogging, but she has a better camera than me. We are welcomed by the director of the Brasserie Bocuse. So excited. Okay, we are seated in the Brasserie Bocuse. The place looks amazing. And we have like a beautiful view here on the Comédie Française, which is like the National Theater of Paris. Look at the view. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. Even the, what's the name of that? The napkin? The napkin is beautiful. The place is like a mix of chic, tradition and modernity. So you can feel at home. And it's a brasserie. This is what a brasserie is supposed to be like. An open place for everyone, for all the family that still look a bit chic with all the French classics available inside. I'm looking at the menu, you can find many classics. Like you have like brasserie classics, uh, even Caesar salad, escargot. You have the fish, some risotto and pasta. Here we have the meat with the veal steak, the beef filet, the tartare. The signature dishes are from Lyon, like the quenelle de brochet. I want to take my good friend Theo to Lyon to try out all the specialties in les bouchons lyonnais. Les bouchons lyonnais is like bistro, French style, Lyonnais style restaurants. So super exciting to try the dishes in Paris. And if we see the prices, it's really okay. It's the price for a beautiful brasserie in Paris, like about 30 euros for a main course. The Brasserie Bocuse is a good example of what is an authentic classic brasserie in Paris. The Brasserie it is this type of restaurant where you can find the French classics. It's usually open all day long. I'm not sure this one is open all day. This is the place you need to try when you want to find the French food, the classic and traditional dishes. We just seen that there is a vol au vent for today on the menu and I love the vol au vent so we have to try it. So we have the saucisson here. It's a famous charcuterie. Very salty, but I like it. And I like to eat it with a cornichon. French the pickles. Pickle. Wait a minute. They have focaccia as bread. I need it in my life every day. The rosemary is so good. Honestly, it looks incredible. We have the white asparagus with some fish eggs on it. Yeah. And here we have the escargot. It's cooked in a small cup like that with a toast on it. So it will be crispy, parsley and butter. I just can't wait to try it. You can still, it's still bubbling it. because it's so hot. So we're gonna try the asparagus first. It looks a bit crunchy and tender at the same time. That's a well cooked asparagus. I need some sauce with it. The sauce gives a little kick with a little bit of vinegar inside, but it's really sweet and it's extremely crunchy. Like the texture is so good. It's like you're eating like crispy rice, you know. The vloggers in action. <laughs> I'm saucing. The French people's favorite action in restaurants is to sauce every dish to really savor the sauce with bread. It's so important to use the bread and dip it in the sauce to take all the flavors and not waste anything. So don't feel a shame in a French restaurant to use your hands and dip the bread in the plate. This is normal. This is how you should do it. We even have a little toast with the asparagus. Okay, the mix with the asparagus and the toast. It's incredible. The butter on the toast and the freshness of the asparagus. This is so good. Like it's a starter you need to try if you come to the Brasserie Bocuse. Now we need, we need to try the snails. We need to try the escargot. For the snails, you have this little fork. Usually it's used to take the snail out of the shell. Okay, it looks a bit disgusting, but you will see that it's better than it looks. I love it. Like the sauce is really perfect. The parsley with the butter, it was amazing. You, have, you can see all the sauce inside. Perfect. It doesn't really look good, 
because it's a snail, don't forget that. But I promise it's delicious. It's hot, it's so good. It's pure oil, butter, pleasure. It's not an healthy dish, but this is delicious. And then you can dip the bread in the sauce. That is amazing. This is the best part. It's just so good to eat with this beautiful view. You can see here it's the entrance of the Palais Royal. It's a beautiful garden. And here it's the Comédie Française, the French Theater. And here we have the veal liver with a red wine sauce poured on the mashed potatoes, the puree, the French puree. And here is the vol au vent. It's a puff pastry drum with lobster inside. It looks like a work of art. Like you can see that there's a pastry here, lobster inside with a little bit of mousse. Like it looks like a canvas, like a painting. Please guys, please. <laughs> it looks fabulous. The color of this sauce, it's so dark, it's so deep. I love it. The waiter just told us how the dishes were made. For the veal liver, it's a la Lyonnaise, it's Lyon style. So they put some flour on the veal liver to give a little bit of a breading around it. And it's red inside, so it's not too cooked. So it gives a, a different texture. The puree, the mashed potatoes has like more butter than potatoes because it's a French puree, so it's really smooth. And for the volovant, which is a delicious dish that I like a lot, they have like a sauce made of seafood with lobster inside the puff pastry drum. I'm gonna shoot with her camera and my phone at the same time for the cutting of the volovant. It already looks delicious. You have some spinach and lobster inside with this seafood sauce. Let's try the volovant. Super good. The lobster is really, really well cooked. I feel like the cream and the spinach is not too overwhelming. It really fits super together and it was my first time trying this dish I've never had this dish before I love seafood so definitely come try it if you come to Brasserie de Lourdes I've already tried lobster in restaurant we were a bit too dry, like it was overcooked. And it's difficult to chew when it's overcooked. This one is just perfectly cooked. It's tender. It has the texture of a scallop. I love it. Are you ready to try the veal liver? Always ready to eat. The sauce looks fabulous. It's a bit red inside. Let's go. It's your first time eating liver. How is it? It's my first time. Was not sure how to feel about it, but honestly, really good. And the sauce is amazing. The waiter said the, the sauce would be a bit strong, but I don't think so. With the mashed potato as well, really good. Okay, I need to try it with the mashed potatoes because I'm sure the mix is amazing. French puree, veal liver, red wine sauce. Let's go. This is so good. Oh no, I said red wine. It's not red wine, it's yellow wine. And it's just amazing. I think that for many people it will be like strong because the veal liver is a strong meat, the sauce is also really deep, but I just really love meat like that. I love strong taste. This dish, this dish is not for the weak. <laughs> you can see it's still red inside. You have to be prepared for the veal liver to eat it like a little bit undercooked inside because this is the Lyon style. You can still ask for a more cooked veal liver, but this way is the special signature dish. We are looking for the dessert. We're gonna take the crème brûlée and the crêpe Suzette because it looks amazing. It smells really good. And here we have the crêpe Suzette and the crème brûlée. Two of the best French desserts. If you take the crêpe suzette, they will flame it next to you. So they put the crêpe in a pan, they add caramel, butter and orange skin. And then they will pour a little bit of Grand Marnier, it's an orange liqueur. They flame it, so it evaporates. And the show is just so beautiful to see. And here are the crêpes suzette with the sauce, with the butter, the caramel, the orange. It looks fabulous. Orange confit, right? Orange marmalade. Can barely taste the alcohol. The orange is intense. You don't really taste the alcohol because it evaporates. And it's so good. The crepe is like melting in your mouth. I love it. She's doing a shot for the vlog. I take all the caramel and the orange. Mm. It's like a candy. Still one of my favorite French desserts. That looks so good with the caramel and sugar on top. The creme brulee is, is, is thick. Usually it's in a plate that is really small, it's really thin, and you don't have much to eat. This one is really good. 
If you come to Paris, you need to try these two desserts. It's just so good. That's it. We finished the Brasserie du Louvre Paul Bocuse. How was this meal? It was really good. I really enjoyed it and I was very surprised also by the main dishes. Um, we're double vlogging, yeah, sorry. Mm, yes. <laughs> and I was really surprised by the dishes and honestly we ate so much but everything was good. Yes, yeah. so many good things and everything was perfect. Like there is no meal, there is no dish that was less not really good or something everything was delicious thanks to the hotel du louvre yes, for inviting merci. us and if you want to visit paris don't forget to subscribe i post every day yes. see you tomorrow